Hello everyone! I'm Galina Akakinket and in today's meow I'm playing with colorful fall outfits. I previously did a video of autumn outfits in black and white and if you are interested I'll leave a link below. And without further ado, let's play! For this look I paired a green jacket with a black t-shirt green snake print skirt by Topshop and black over the knee boots. The bag is by Karl Lagerfeld Paris. I figured that for a Chanel inspired bag there is no better authority than its legendary creative director. The earrings are by a local artist Indria who I've met at an art show. The stone is Chrysacoa. I find them incredibly beautiful. I wanted a sleep dress for a while and found this burgundy one at J. Crew. Usually, sleep dresses are pretty straight, and since I'm kind of blessed in the north region, I was worried about the fit. But it drapes really nicely due to clever construction. You see all those panels? Yeah, nice. The coat or long sweater blazer is also from J. Crow. It runs pretty generous, so I got mine in extra small. Normally I'm small, and it still has plenty of room. The necklace is from a winter shop. The earrings are by Kendra Scott. The clutch is by Nordstrom, and the heels are by Cole Han. By the way, mine are 7W, and I'd like to say kudos to any designer who goes beyond traditional set of sizes. We, the customers, appreciate you saving us the pain, especially when shoes are concerned. For a colder day, I pair the same slip dress with a black turtleneck, black tights, and Doc Martens. I grabbed the backpack for all the essentials and added Henry Bendel earrings for a bit of sparkle. And then I throw on a leather jacket to complete the look. Yeah, it's a bit of rocket brown. This next look I wore to an actual rock concert at San Francisco Club, meaning it had to be cool, it had to be warm enough for night temperature outside and light enough for dancing inside. I paired Levi jeans with Urban Outfitter Satin Crop Shirt, added layer chain necklace by Chicas, sparkly earrings, couple of rings, western style belt, and fun studded booties by Sam Edelman. I like pairing this with long jeans so they pick out just slightly for a little extra. I use the black crossbody by Thacker. The dark metal hardware makes it so easy to pair with almost anything. And then I added my coach leather jacket. This rust-colored sweater by Halogen is incredibly soft and I'm planning to cozy up in it through fall and winter. It's a bit oversized, so if you like it but prefer a more fitted look, you may want to size down. I pair it with Levi jeans, some Edelman boots, and an Amy Kestenberg back. And then I added an oversized three-people denim jacket. I was looking for a pretty dress for over a year. And when I saw this feline floral one at Madewell, yes, that's how they call this parrot, I just had to try it on and fell in love. I paired it with maroon leather jacket, rust-colored belt, wooden earrings, and this amazing orange Thomas Mayer crossbody, which I scored on thread up. 
I added a pair of Doc Martens and left the sacks to pick out for some extra color coordination. I wore this look recently to New Wally Film Festival to Rob Nielsen's premiere of Eric Cut, where I'm actually playing a cutthroat banker lady, which was so fun. Plus, I also helped on the production side a bit. The dress, shoes, earrings and ring in this look literally arrived the day I was filming it. And by the time I received them, everything except earrings was sold out. Out you have to stay restocked by the time I posted. I added the necklace by Madewell and my old trusted bag by Coach. Shoes are by Vagabond. The dress is by Free People and can be worn loose or belted. Very, very soft and pretty thin, which will be perfect for semi warm days. For a fun business look, I paired J. Crew Parker Blazer with a light blue striped PCBG shirt, long navy banana republic pants, and fila sneakers. I added blue Amy Kessner bag, geometric earrings, and a necklace I brought from a trip to Mexico years ago. I love how the sneakers look with extra long pants. Yes, I was shooting for business casual. Let me know if you think I succeeded. Red, white and blue. Same Levi jeans, same J. Crew parky blazer, silk J. Crew button-up. This one I got last year, but they produce silk wild cat shorts on a regular basis. So I'll link whatever is their latest one. Booties are by Selm Edelman. The bag is by Crimea. I got it at TG Maxx and then ordered the chain strap since I wanted an over the shoulder option in addition to grass body strap the bag came with. The candy stud earrings are from Amazon. For a business look, I paired BCBG Maxarge flat blazer with leather pants I found on ThreadUp. Added a black tee by Uniqlo and spiced it up by Yellow Pumps. Then I added fun earrings by Madewell and a leather ring from Etsy. Yes, I know, I showed a lot. The laptop bag is by Dumi from Nursing Rack. Speaking of business, I wanted to include at least one full suit. So I used the same jacket from the previous look and paired it with paper bag pants. They are part of the same collection, though I bought them separately. The jacket I had for at least a year and the pants I found recently on Amazon. I added the black tee, Chelsea booties by Vagabond, Earrings I found on Poshmark and Camera Crowd Body by Bodker. For the next look, I paired J. Crew Cheetah Sweater with a mini skirt. I added black tights, Doc Martens, Amy Kestenberg belt bag, and a pair of Native American earrings from Navajo Nation. and then I tapped it off with maroon leather jacket. This mini is ancient. Can't even remember how long ago I've got it. And I almost never wear minis these days. Please let me know if you think I should do it more often. This pair of pants reminds me of Kim Possible, so the rest of the look was no-brainer. I added black turtleneck, black booties and belt bag. Accessorized with leather necklace and camera earrings. Then added a baseball hat. And then finished up with denim jacket to break it up a bit. Do you think I'm ready to save the world? Please let me know in the comments.
For this look, I decided to go all out and combine dark red dress with an orange top, rust color boots, yellow cardigan, and an orange crossbody. I pin the top strong to create an asymmetrical line to match the dress panels. Also, if you like rolling your sleeves, but you don't want to stay up, rubber pants are your friends. The earrings are by Madewell, and the necklace was a gift from my mom from her trip to Italy. And then I added a scarf by Ink for some extra brightness. What do you think? Thank you for watching. Hopefully all these colors helped to lift your mood a bit. And if they did, please consider subscribing. The outfit I'm wearing right now consists of a jacket by Howagen, which is a Nordstrom brand. I got it because it reminded me of Dr. Crusher's jacket from Star Trek. The t-shirt I found at Urban Outfitters in the Urban Review section, which is their recycled clothing program. Yes, graphic tees are my weakness. Jeans are by Levi's, shoes are by Vagabond. The earrings I got at a little store called Dafe, and this Lynx ring is from Etsy. Please let me know which of the outfits was your favorite. And if you like this dress of games in general, would mean a world to me. I'll link as many pieces as I can in the description below, but some of them I had for a while, and few of the ones I ordered recently were sold out by the time they arrived. Have a great rest of your day, and see you next time.